All right, class, uh, we're down to chapter 16, which will be the last chapter before you take the midterm. So, and this one is on the skin. All right, so you're gonna have to name the layers of the skin and the accessory structures associated with skin. Uh, build medical words using the combining forms. Identify lesions, signs, and symptoms. Describe laboratory tests and clinical procedures that pertain to the skin. Apply your knowledge to understanding medical terms. So the skin is also known as the integumentary system. It weighs about 8 to 10 pounds, depending on the individual. And it covers 22 square feet in the average adult. What does it do? It provides protective membrane, skin glands to help lubricate and cool the skin, receptors for sensations, and helps maintain body temperature. Again, it's not an anatomy class, so you don't really need to know the true functions and that it weighs 8 to 10 pounds. Okay, um, It produces sweat. Sweat glands produce a watery secretion, evaporates and cools, produces sebum. Sebaceous glands produce an oily secretion that lubricates the skin and hair. Receives sensation, pain, temperature, pressure and touch. And thermal regulates, interprets message from heat center in the brain. Uh, you should know that uh, the three layers for sure, the epidermis, which is the outermost thin cellular membrane. The dermis, which is the next layer, dense fibrous connective tissue. To kind of put this in perspective, um, those that, of you that have tattoos, your tattoo is in the dermis. And if you have ever had henna tattoo, then a henna would be in the epidermis, meaning it washes away in seven to 10 days, where if it's embedded in your uh, dermis, such as your tattoo, it doesn't wash away. So you better uh, make sure when you're getting that tattoo that that's what you want for the rest of your life. And then subcutaneous tissue, which is basically the fat containing tissue. Uh, the epidermis layer contains the basal layer, the stratum corneum, and melanocytes. So if you were to look at this, uh, there's where the epidermis is, the dermis, and subcutaneous. Again, there's no diagrams on the quiz or the midterm, um, so this is just terminology that you should know. Uh, hair cells are filled with a hard protein called keratin. Make sure you know how to spell keratin. Uh, hair follicles, shafts that hold the hair. 5 million hairs on the body, 100,000 on the head. Melanocytes at the root form the color. Grows 0.5 inches per month. Cutting does not affect. So there's the hair fiber, the hair root, and the melanocytes that give it the hair color. Uh, now, the hard keratin plates covering the toes and fingers, you should know this. You should know what a lanula is right there. You should know what a cuticle is and the perinicheum, which is right in here. So a lot of times um, if you get a hangnail and you, or you pick at it, this right here, this perinicheum can get reddish and get a little infected. So that's called the perinicheum right to the side right there. Now glands, uh, sebation and sweat. Uh, sebaceous glands secrete oily sebum into the hair follicle to lubricate. Make sure you know how to spell sebaceous. And then sweat glands secrete into pores to moisten and cool. Both are subject to bacterial growth and hence the smell. Uh, sebaceous gland, eccrine sweat gland, and apocrine sweat glands. All right, so let's look at what an adipocyte, what an albino is, apocrine sweat gland. All right, so adipocyte is a fat cell. Definitely know what an albino is. That's a person with deficient uh, in pigment. Apocrine sweat gland, one of the large germinal excrine glands located in the axilla and genital areas. The basal layer, collagen and a cuticle. Uh, the basal layer is the deepest region of the epidermis, gives rise to all epidermal layer cells. Make sure you know what collagen is. That's a structural protein found in the skin and connective tissue. Right now, if you go to Costco, you can get a, a jar of collagen peptides. That's a supplement. I think it's good. There's some good research out there. So if you want to take keep your hair, skin, and nails uh, uh, healthy, um, supplementing with collagen peptides would uh, be good. A cuticle, which is band of epidermis at the base and glides of the nail plate. Uh, the dermis, the eccrine sweat gland, and the epidermis. So the dermis is the middle layer. Remember, that's where your tattoos are. The eccrine sweat gland, most numerous sweat-producing eccrine gland in the skin. 
the epidermis is the outermost layer of the skin. You get a brand new epidermis every 28 days. Epithelium, hair follicle, and the integumentary system. Um, epithelium is the layer of skin cells forming the outer and inner surfaces of the body. The hair follicle sac within each hair grows. The integumentary system is the skin and its accessory structures such as hair and nails. Keratin, make sure you know how to spell keratin, lanula, and melanin. Keratin is the hard protein found in the epidermis, hair, and nails. Lanula is a half moon shaped whitish area of the base of the nail. And melanin is the skin pigment formed by melanocytes in the epidermis. Now remember, we all have the same number of melanocytes. Okay, so all humans usually have the same number of melanocytes. It's the amount of melanin that determines your skin color. That's it. That's the only thing different between brown, white, Caucasian, uh, Asian, Indian. It's just the amount of melanin. That's what determines uh, skin color. Okay. Uh, perinechium, the pore and the sebaceous gland. A uh, perinechium is a soft tissue surrounding the nail border. Make sure you know that. A uh, pore, tiny opening on the surface of the skin. Sebaceous gland, oil secreting gland in the dermis that is associated with hair follicles. Sebum, uh, squamous epithelium stratified. Um, sebum is this oily substance secreted by sebaceous glands. Uh, can cause uh, pimples, outbreaks. Squamous epithelium is a flat scale-like cells co uh, composing the epidermis. Stratified means uh, arranged in layers, where simple would mean uh, one layer. Stratified means several layers. So let's say something you have simple cuboidal. That would be a single layer of cube-shaped uh, cells. But if you have stratified cuboidal, it would be multiple layers of cube-shaped cells. Uh, stratum, stratum corneum, and subcutaneous layer. Stratum is a layer of cells. Stratum corneum is the outermost layer of the epidermis. Consists of flattened keratinized cells. Subcutaneous layer is the innermost layer of the skin containing fat tissue. Okay, if you look at adipo, that means fat. So adipose is pertaining to fat. Albine, so white, so albinism is condition of pigment in skin, hair, and eyes. Uh, white skin, make sure you know that. Cause is a burning or burn. So causalgia would be intense burning sensation in the skin. Cotter, um, cauterize is uh, heat or burn. Cutaneous is skin. So subcutaneous would be beneath the skin. Uh, dermo is uh, skin. So a dermatologist would be a specialist in diseases of the skin. Dermatitis would be inflammation of the skin. Uh, derma to skin, a dermatologist, okay. Diaphoro means profuse sweating, so diaphoresis is condition of profuse sweating. Uh, Earthrum is red, redness, uh, so erthemia is condition of redness. Erthro, erthromatos, erthromatos is redness as well. Uh, hydra means sweat, so inhidrosis, A-N-H-I, inhidrosis condition where you lack of sweat. Ichthy is scaly dry, so ichthytosis, ichthytosis, or ichthyosis, abnormal condition of dry scaly skin, fish-like skin. Uh, carado, uh, hard horny tissue, okay, so carado, keratosis, abnormal condition of thickened areas of skin. Um, uh, these horny cells uh, accumulate uh, leuco is white, so leucoplakia is a condition of white plaques on the skin. Make sure you know that, leucoplakia, white plaques on the skin. Lipo uh, is fat, so um, liposuction, you've seen that. Uh, melano is black, so melanoma is a tumor of the melanocytes. Mike is fungus okay so uh, dermatomycosis is a fungal infection of the skin oncomycosis abnormal condition of fungal infection of the nails okay so 
combining the two. Phytoplant, dermatophytosis, abnormal condition of a fungus plant infection in the skin. Pile, peel is hair, hair follicle. Okay. Pi is pus. Sub is sebum. Seborrhea is flow of sebum, disturbance of sebaceous glands. Squam is scale-like, so squamous epithelium is scale-like cells. Steat is fat, so steatoma, make sure you know that, what a steatoma, as a mass tumor rising from sebaceous glands. Trick, trichomycosis, disease of the hair due to a fungal infection. Ungu is nail. Subungal is pertaining to under the nail. Uh, xantho is yellow, so xanthoma is a flat, slightly elevated round plaque or nodule usually found on the eyelids. Um, diabetics can get that. And xero is dry, so xeroderma, abnormal condition of dry, rough skin. All right, which combining form for, refers to as white? Yeah, that's D albino. Which combining form refers to the same color as John Doe? And that would be xantho a as an apple here's some good uh ways to memorize this colors and it doesn't always have to be with skin but here's some good colors albi uh, is white albinism anthrog is black anthrocosis chloro is green so chlorophyll Suro is a, like a tawny yellow cirrhosis cyan is blue cyanosis isano is rosy uh, isonophyll erthro is red erthrocyte Jonda is yellow, so jaundice. Leuco is white, leucoderma. Luteo is yellow, corpus luteum. Melano is black, melanocyte. Polio is gray, poliomyelitis. And xantho is yellow, xanthum. All right, so let's continue on to cutaneous lesions. Uh, types of cutaneous lesions, you have a crust, which is scab, cyst, erosion, fissures, macules, nodules, papules, push pustules, <laughs> ulcers, vesicles, and wheels. So alopecia is the absence of hair where it normally grows. Uh, ecchymosis is blue-purple marks on the skin. Petechia are small pinpoint hemorrhages. Urticaria is an acute allergic reaction with red swollen wheels on the skin. Make sure you know what urticaria is and what wheels are. Acne, papular and postular eruption of skin with increased production of sebum. Uh, burns, injury to tissue due to heat, chemical electric shock, lightning or radiation. Uh, this is a second degree burn where it goes into the dermis. Uh, first degree burns usually just do the epidermis. And third degree burns will uh, pretty much go into the epidermis, dermis, uh, soft tissue, muscles, uh, nerves, etc. Uh, cellulitis, make sure you know what cellulitis is, it's diffuse acute infection of the skin. Uh, make sure you know what eczema is, which is atopic dermatitis. Inflammation of the skin with erythromatous and papulovesicular lesions caused by an allergy. Uh, xanthomatose, xanthomatose, viral diseases, a rash due to virus, uh, for example, rubella. Uh, gangrene, make sure you know what gangrene is, the death of tissue with loss of blood supply. Impetigo, contagious pyoderma caused by stab or strep. Uh, psoriasis, definitely know how to spell psoriasis and know what psoriasis is. Chronic reoccurrent dermatosis with silver gray scales that itch. Uh, scabies, uh, parasitic tiny mites and infectious pruitis. Make sure you know what pruitis means. That means itching. Uh, um, scleroderma, chronic and progressive disease of the skin with hardening of the connective tissue. Uh, lupus, uh, make sure you know what lupus is, an inflammatory disease of the collagen, the skin, joints, and internal organs. Uh, gives you that butterfly rash on your face. Urticaria, which are hives, uh, definitely know that. An acute allergic reaction in which red round wheels develop on the skin. Uh, tinea, infection of the skin caused by a fungus. Uh, tinea corposis is shown. Uh, vitiligo, loss of pigment in areas of the skin. Uh, keratosis is thickened area of epidermis. Make sure you know what leukoplakia means, which is a white thickened patches on the tongue or cheek. Uh, 
know what a nevus is, which is a pigmented lesion. Okay, these are all benign. Uh, and Veruca, make sure you know what those are. Those are warts caused by virus. So of all these, uh, know what they are, and then of course know the spelling, nevus, Veruca, uh, how many R's, right? Uh, basal cell carcinoma is a malignant tumor of the basal uh, cell layer of the epidermis. Squamous cell carcinoma, a malignant tumor of the squamous epithelial cells of the epidermis. Uh, Kaposi sarcoma is a malignant vascular neoplastic growth characterized by cutaneous nodules. Uh, you have bacterial amylases, which are uh, lab tests to uh, pus or fluid samples examined to detect any microorganisms. Uh, fungal tests, uh, scrapings for culture and microscopic examination after treatment um, with KOH. Cryosurgery, destroy tissue with sub-zero temperatures using liquid nitrogen. So uh, if you have skin tags, uh, cryosurgery works pretty good. Uh, curatage, uh, scrape lesion with sharp curette. Uh, electrodesiccation, destroy tissue by burning with electric spark. Uh, Mohs surgery, definitely know what a Mohs surgery is. It removes thin layers of growth to examine under a microscope, uh, such as basal and squamous cell. Uh, skin biopsy, punch and shave to remove the examination in the pathology lab. What about a skin test? Test reaction of body to allergen with skin tests, like a scratch or patch test that they do in the allergist. All right, A, B, C, D, E, B, X, Derm, D, L, E, P, B, D, PUVA, S, L, E, and S, C. A, B, C, D, E is the way that we would diagnose uh, skin cancer. We use asymmetry, border, color, diameter, and evolution, which is like change characteristics associated with melanoma. B, X is a biopsy. Derm is a dermatology. D, L, E is discoid lupus erythromatosis. PPD, make sure you know what PPD is. That's used for tuberculosis, purified protein derivative. Uh, PUVA, serolin ultraviolet aylorite. SLE is systemic lupus erythromatosis. SE is subcutaneous. And that's it.